What up, what up, it's Dane here, coming back again with another video and does muscle soreness lead to muscle growth? A very common question, so let's tackle this shit. So, why do you get sore? You get sore through muscle damage, and muscle damage is the tearing of the muscle fibers, the membranes, and everything around it. Now, muscle damage correlates to muscle soreness, so if you've been that gal, gal, the You've done an exercise and you're like, shit man, the next day I'm sore as hell man, I must be growing, I must be. Maybe you have to reconsider after watching this video, right? Now, you get muscle damage through these primary factors. Number one, stretching your muscle at longer length. So, if you did, let's say, um, a deficit deadlift. Number two, eccentric muscle actions, which if I did a barbell curl, it'd be this, the lowering phase. And number three, if it's a novel stimulus. So if you've never done an exercise before, and let's say Sunday you do an exercise, man, you're gonna be sore for a new exercise, especially if it stretches your muscle at longer lengths. So that's that. Now again, as I like to use science, man, science-based evidence right here, what does this actually mean? So does muscle damage lead to muscle soreness? Here's the thing, muscle damage correlates with muscle protein synthesis. And for those of you who don't know, Muscle protein synthesis is the process to build new muscle tissue. So that's real important, right? So automatically you think, okay, if I experience a lot of muscle damage, AKA pain in this regard, just making it in simple terms, muscle protein synthesis rate is a lot higher. However, when you correct for the muscle damage, you actually find out that the muscle protein synthesis rate that it, that's increased is just to repair the new muscle tissue. It's not a net gain, right? So you're not, gaining any more muscle mass, all that increase of muscle protein synthesis is, is just to repair the muscle tissue, right? Just draining it or drilling it into your head. So that's that. Also, muscle damage correlates to muscle protein breakdown as well. So like I said, or oh, many videos before, net muscle growth is muscle protein synthesis rates being higher than muscle protein breakdown rates. So let's say this, this is no muscle growth, muscle protein synthesis, muscle protein breakdown, this is a net positive balance, muscle growth. So, to slow it down a bit, what do you need to focus on to get bigger and more muscle mass? Number one, not really muscle damage, as that doesn't correlate with muscle growth. However, muscle protein synthesis rates on its own does correlate with muscle growth. So, just to finish the video here, make it nice, short and sweet, concentrate on, you wouldn't guess it man, total volume or total work, which again is your reps, excuse me, times your sets, times your weight. For example, if you did three sets, you do three times, let's say you did 10 reps times 10, and let's say you lifted 100 kg, that'd be three times 10 times 10, which I hope is 3,300. And um, it's because I use that example all the time, I think I got the right number. Besides that, I don't do maps in public, and that's the end of the video, muscle damage, does not correlate with muscle growth or should i say in simple terms if you feel real real sore probably doesn't mean you're just growing real real fast that said though always a caveat to this and as you know me or if you don't know me i don't like to think black and white terms i like to think gray terms so that said maybe you should be sore sometimes maybe once a month but besides that that's it man if you never saw then you're probably doing something wrong there Anyway, stay positive, stay smiling, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.